Having an organized home isn't a one and done project. I'm sure you've seen or heard of TV shows where a crew comes in to a messy home, removes everything, sets it up and leaves. This may seem appealing to you. Many people are overwhelmed at the thought of going through their belongings, making a decision about each item and then maintaining an organized home. Wouldn't it be easier to have somebody just come in and do it for you? But the problem with one and done organizing is that it doesn't help you build new habits. Your home might look nice right then, but if the way someone else organized your things doesn't suit you and you don't know how to keep it organized, the clutter will come right back. It's a learned skill and one that anyone can learn. And there's nothing wrong with using an organizing service like Organize to Excel to help you with that on a regular basis. An organized home is much easier to keep that way. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to click subscribe if you want regular updates on practical tips to organize your life. I'm Dr. Catherine Macy, owner of Organize to Excel. We've been helping people overcome clutter and get more organized for over 15 years. And I'm here today to help you organize your home. It's a lot of work, but it doesn't need to be overwhelming. When you're organizing your house, you're organizing your house. This means that you make up the rules. You get to decide what goes in it, how much goes in it, and what to let go of. That's a lot of power. To determine what you want to stay in your home, ask questions like, do I love it? Do I need it? Can someone else use this more than me? Break down daunting tasks. They seem a lot more manageable when broken down into chunks. Decluttering the whole house? Ah, that's a lot to imagine. Decluttering the bathroom? Hmm, now we're getting somewhere. There's lots of strategies for breaking down difficult tasks, like using categories. Start by organizing one type of item, like your books. Or you can go room by room. And the time. Set a timer and organize for a set amount of time. Start small. It may sound silly, but try organizing for just five minutes. If you get to the end of five minutes and you're ready to quit, that's all right, you've gotten something done. If you're still in the zone, go with it and keep organizing. Low hanging fruit. There's stuff in your house you know you don't want anymore. Never want to see another white sock? Go through the house, collect every white sock you see and donate them. Once you get the hang of parting with items you already want to part with, you'll have an easier time doing the rest. Have a plan. You've gone through all your dishes and you know exactly what stays and what goes, but what are you gonna do with the dishes that you're ready to let go of? To avoid having a pile of stuff you don't want sitting around the house, come up with a plan for unwanting items prior to decluttering. Roadblocks. There are four common roadblocks that trip up people when it comes to decluttering. Knowing what they are makes them easier to spot while you're working. So you're not surprised in the moment. These are gifts. I find a lot of people have a hard time letting go of gifts. What if the person that gave it to them finds out they donated it? I reframe it this way. The gift giver wanted you to enjoy the gift they gave. If you're not enjoying the gift, you're perfectly allowed to let it go. And what if you don't know where to start? So I recommend starting with a small area first. Want to declutter your kitchen? Start with a silverware drawer. It'll give you practice and you'll feel accomplished when you're done. What about if you need it later? If you have a specific use for an item and you have an actual time frame for when you'll use it, it's okay to store something. Otherwise, let it go and get a replacement if and when it becomes necessary. Sentimental items. I cover it in more detail in other videos, but the gist of it is, is that items are not the memories they represent. And there are several space conscious ways of keeping those special memories. If you want help setting up your home organizing systems, go to homeorganizingsystems.com to sign up for our new four week course starting in the spring. Organize to Excel, practical solutions for everyday issues. Subscribe, like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and visit our website, organize2excel.com.